What is very interesting about displays is that almost all of their functionality is actually constrained within only a few micrometers of structured layer material. So the problem, however, today is that current manufacturing technologies, they can only produce enriched substrates like glass. So if you would have new manufacturing technologies, we could actually produce those layers also on plastics or even on paper materials. Here at ETH we have developed a new manufacturing technology which we believe could be the first that makes the production of mechanically flexible displays economically viable. The process we have developed is very similar to inkjet printing but it achieves an up to 1000 fold higher printing resolution. So you can imagine we're not printing graphical inks but we're printing electronic materials. That means we can directly editively produce a display onto a plastic or a paper substrate. What we started with here at the laboratory are print heads which actually only consist of a single nozzle and accordingly they were very slow. So the most important step in my view is in our development that we have been able to now come up with a completely new concept and with our new print heads we can place on a very small area up to 100,000 nozzles which work together. This means we are on the verge of coming up with the first additive microfabrication technology that could replace all those complex and very expensive technology we have to date. My dream is that using our technology at one day you would be able to produce displays almost as easily as you produce an image with your home office printer. However, what is important to understand is that producing fine details with such high resolution is also relevant for many other industries, for example in life science and security printing, where our technology could enable disruptive new products.